Welcome to Hidden Valley Homestead, where my wife Olivia and I escaped the city to homestead our off-grid property in Idaho. This is our journey. Those of you who have been following the channel for a while know that uh, I put up that big tower with the WeBoost to try and get cell phone signal out there. And we got two bars solid of 4G, sometimes three, but it was not enough to stream. To get on the internet and get internet access, we have to go to town all the time. And uh, those of you guys that are off grid understand that and that struggle, uh, whether it's uploading a video or whatever. And now that we're here full time, trying to pay bills and do anything online is, has, been a, has, been, has been a struggle. I went ahead and put a deposit down for Starlink 14 months ago. It's here and we're hooking this bad boy up. So let's check it out. SpaceX. Wow, even the packaging looks like a big X. Okay, Elon, got to reinforce that that whole SpaceX thing. So now the new dishes are not a dish. It is a it's a dish, but it's a square. So apparently, some assembly required. Here's the instructions. There it is. <laughs> So, insert dish into base. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. There we go. There's our dish. Now, here's the instructions. Put dish on base. Uh, you know what, and the plug is actually already plugged in, so they need to update their their instructions because you don't have to plug the plug in. The plug's already in. Right there, guys. A lot of people online were talking about that. I'm not getting a good any reception. It's not working. And, well, is your plug seated all the way? You gotta make sure that that plug is seated. Mine's all the way in. So plug's already in. I put it on the dish. Hook it up to the uh, the router to the Wi-Fi and plug it in. And then it says use the uh, Starlink app to figure out where uh, where to put it. Here's the router, here's my 75 foot of cable, and here's the power cord. Well, this is in the stowed position according to what everybody says online, so since you plug it in, it will go into the search mode and find the satellite. Let's go lay out some cable. Ooh, look at that. Visibility and speed. So my app changed. I didn't get to have this, this screen before, but now that I have the system, they obviously downloaded the right one to me. Okay, so visibility. So this is where, this is where uh, my friend and I figured was the best visibility because we've got, we've got trees right there. We've got a big tree right there and we want to have a good visibility. They say to the north, but yeah, we'll see right now. So you see all those little green dots? So I'm supposed to scan the entire sky. You see how those little green dots disappear? So there's a tree right there. That one might have, and there's a couple trees there. So I might have to go further out into the field. 99% view results. You may want to find a better spot and it shows those little red spots. That's that big tree over there. So try a new location. So we had it, we had it clear over here. So let's try this location. Okay, here we go. See, it's still showing that tree right there. Oh, let's 
telling me with the arrow which way to go. There we go. Last little bit right there. Okay. View results. This is a decent spot for your Starlink. There we go. Yeah. Is it plugged in inside? No, not yet. I'm gonna go plug it in right now. All right, let's go try it out. So that's stone mode. As soon as we activate it, that thing will do its thing and it'll search for the satellites. Oh. All right, I already plugged the power wire in. Plugging in the satellite or the dish wire. Okay, it's all the way in. Okay, off grid, see how much power this thing uses, but you know, it is what it is. Where are we at? Are we at 100%? 100%, We've got plenty of power. Is there a power button? Is there a power button? I'm pretty sure there should be some lights that turn on. Is there a password or anything that we have to Starlink, do? there's no lights on. It says Starlink, connecting. Sign in to Wi-Fi network. Create network. <laughs> wow, what do you think, honey? That was quick. I expected some lights to come on or something, but no, nothing came on. Look at the dish. It went out of uh, stow mode. Hmm. Can you see it moving? No. Oh, it moved a second ago. Okay, so I plugged everything in and there is an LED on the bottom. It's a little white light that says it's got power. So we've got power. Uh, there's nothing on the front of this thing that shows that it's, that it's on, but um, anyway. Um, 75 foot cable that I've got with that thing. Let's check this sucker out. There we go. We are online. And let's see, let's check out our speed test right here. Everybody's saying, you know, the speed tests don't matter as long as you're getting, you know, 20 gigs down or whatever and 7, 8, 10 gigs up, whatever. So, uh, 86 megabits per second, pretty amazing. Looks like we're getting about 32 megabits per second. And it looks like a 12 megabits per second upload speed. That's pretty awesome. So guys, for uh, for not having any internet at all, and now uh, having this Starlink, uh, of course, the the connection speed from my phone to the actual router is insane, 600 megabits per second. That's pretty cool. I can upload information from my phone to the router insanely fast, but uh, it obviously gets uh, bottlenecked when it goes from the from our dish to the satellite. So either way, um, pretty amazing. So guys, we're super happy with this thing. This is gonna change everything for us. And uh, so stay tuned. I have ordered the 150 foot cable because where it's at right now is uh, on the bench out there and it's only, that's a 75 foot cable that came with it. And we need to get it a little bit further out. It said that was a decent spot. And the actual spot that said it was an excellent spot was about another 15, 20 feet away. So I need a longer cable. I did order that, it's gonna be coming. Stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna bury it in conduit, show you guys how to do that show you which end of the cable to actually put through the conduit, how to actually pull cable through a conduit, and to protect the ends and all that good stuff. So guys, stay tuned for that next video and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thank you for watching, guys.